Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. Jean Ketchum, Aging But Dangerous. Hi, everyone. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Minneapolis. I hope it is where you are. And I, as I said in my title today, I am a happy camper. And I'll tell you why. Well, first of all, I got to tell you, I've got a sty on my eye. I mean, look, can you see it? It's like right there. It is so sore. I have never had a sty before. I, I think it's amazing when you get to be 80 years old and you, and you have never had something before. I mean, something simple like this. I've never had it. And so I'm like, wow, I don't even know what causes it. I have no idea what it's all about. It just amazes me. But it's it's a little, um, it's, I've had it all week, and, and I can't cover it up, and I'm not wearing sunglasses, I'm like, no, 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 I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to do that. So, um, anyway, it's, it's fine, it's going to be fine. But, uh, I have to tell you, I just read the most amazing book, 730 pages. I read it in three days. I could not put it down. It was like gone with the wind. It was so incredible. And it was written 30 years ago. Um, and I just, I, I, this author, well, anyway, I went, long story short, I'm bragging it out, but I went to the library day and I got another one of her books. Um, and but the author is Kathy Cash Spellman. And the book that I read was Paint the Wind. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was just incredible. I can't believe they don't make a movie out of it. So I'd have a very, very good book to read this weekend. And then also it is the U.S. Open. I think I told you that on Monday, but I am quite the tennis fan and I am I'm recording it right now because somebody's we have an American player that's playing and I'm very anxious to to see him. But I get so excited about tennis and well sports. I love sports. I love tennis and I love football. But um, nobody's in the stand in in New York. Uh, it's all played without fans. So that's interesting. I think it's not as much pressure because they don't have all that noise and all those people. Uh, but anyway, I'm really enjoying it. And that's on all weekend. So that is a real plus for me. And then also the Kentucky Derby. The Kentucky Derby is this weekend. And I had forgotten all about it. Because until one of my friends said, you know, it's the Kentucky Derby. And I'm like, wow, I didn't know that. So that is tomorrow. And have you any of you been to the Kentucky Derby? I went one time and I'll never forget it. I had on a white suit. I had on, I had borrowed one of my friend's gorgeous hats. It was like a $600 hat or something. And it rained the whole time. <laughs> but I'm like, oh my gosh, it was so great to be there. We actually had to watch the race inside. But just the atmosphere and all the, you know, it was just, it was very exciting. So anyway, I feel very close to the Kentucky Derby and we used to own a horse, not a racehorse, but, um, uh, anyway, so that, that is going to be fun. And I'm just, you know, really, really looking forward to the weekend. And it's back to the same thing that I keep talking about. And all of us keep talking about is, you know, make doing things that make us happy, doing things that are, um, that just make us feel good and maybe help other people. Um, I went and worked in the, uh, um, well, I'm not going to bring it up because I don't want to get uh, political, the George Floyd um, Museum yesterday, and that was quite an education. I don't want any politics. I don't want anybody talking about politics. But um, that was that was very interesting. Uh, just checking people in, making sure they had... Um, you know, the uh, spray on their hands and that they were wearing a mask. So, you know, talked to a lot of people. And so that was fun. But, I, you know, 
it's just going to be a great weekend for me, and I hope it's going to be a great weekend for you guys. I know there's a lot going on out there, no matter what your political views are, no matter how you feel. I don't want to hear about them. I just want to know that you're going to vote. Everybody needs to vote any way they want, but they just need to get out and vote. And that's becoming, you know, that's coming real close. But anyway, I ran across this little saying again. I think I said this to you once before that I think sounds really, um, really fabulous. I really like to keep this in front of me where, and the closer we get to everything, the, you know, the COVID, the politics, the everything that we're going through, this really fits it. And it is stay strong, stay calm, and stay positive. And I think that just really hits all three. Stay strong, calm, and positive. So anyway, you guys, I hope you have a great weekend. And uh, I'll see you on Monday. Uh, but let's just, you know, hang in there and call a friend and talk and you can still get together outside. That's what we've been doing. And it's been very, very enjoyable just meeting friends outside for a drink or, you know, light supper. So just, you know, do that while we can, because we're going to get stuck inside, I think. Um, so anyway, cheers. Have a great weekend, you guys. Uh, and I am a happy camper.